You have no idea how gutted I am right now. This should have been the best episode of the Ultimate Team I have ever uploaded. However, the footage got corrupted! Way! So, I packed my first ever icon. First ever. It's untradeable, so I can prove to you it's first owner, that sort of stuff. But I packed it. Then I also invested in our first team to make it even stronger. And, yeah... It's been an absolute bugger. I've done so much and I've lost it all. So let's get into what happened. And you might be able to see exactly what happened. Yes, we did. We packed Kenny Dalgleish. First owner, untradeable icon card. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. I played five games, scored seven goals, got four assists with him. He's incredible. He is so much better than any other 87 rated player. I don't know how that works, but he is. I also then invested in the inform Dries Mertens, who is also fantastic. Uh, we got him pretty good as well. We brought him for 190k. He was going for 230 to 240k. I went on while I was at work at like half past eight in the morning, put a bid on, and won it because no one else was fighting against me. So that was great. Uh, and then I also thought about using. Well, I did this um, this squad builder challenge Quadrado, which I'm sort of. I like it. I very much like it, but I'm sort of regretting it a little bit. Because I don't think defensively is very good, to be honest with you. But um, it's something we can look at improving. And because of that, obviously, we've gone with Godin and Allen. My long-term target is to possibly get Rajanine Golan's inform card here. Um, we'll have a look at that as we go forward. But that is what I've done. I've also completed the Angel Di Maria squad building challenge as well. So we've got him in the club, which is a pretty damn good card. And uh, we're also in a very good position in our season as well, where I am currently... Did you lose season progress? I'm only 7,500 experience points away from unlocking our final card. And I've got no idea at the moment what I'm going to go for. I mean, part of me thinks Oxlade Chamberlain looks like a pretty solid card. He's a premiership player, could fit into our team pretty easily. Um, part of me is thinking, wow, Gelson Martins, 97 passing, 89 dribbling. would be absolutely immense um, in a league gun side. And part of me is thinking, I really do need a better right back. And being from the Serie A, Danilo is a really good option. So I'm really stuck at the moment about what to pick. Um, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Of course, other things good on at the moment. Taglia Fico, I should get that completed. And this guy, um, Morelos. I mean, I've seen a lot of people moaning about it, saying they're not going to do it. But why not? It's easy to do. Literally, I completed the bottom two missions in one match. And then this, I've just got to play and win matches that I'm going to do anyway. Um, so that's an update of what we have been doing. I'm a bit gutted that I didn't manage to show you the actual pack opening. I really am. But we do have some packs to open. Um, nothing major. Oh, God. Nothing major, really. But then again, the pack that I got Kenny Dalgleish in was a reward pack I got from completing one of the Josh King objectives. So it just shows. I, I honestly think, well, in my personal opinion... I have received much better rewards this season, uh, much better packs, sorry, this season from rewards than I have that I've actually purchased. I don't know if that's just luck of the draw or what, but uh, it's just, it annoys me that I've spent so much money on this game and the best players I've got have been rewards. So I'm going to try and not spend any more now. That's my plan. It's not going to happen, but that's my plan. Anyway, we're going to start things off with a standard rare in the shape of Castagna. 76 rated as our rare. That's absolutely useless. Um, and we also got Silver Bradshaw, so we'll put them both into the club. Uh, another two-player pack. So I've got a, a lot of these two-player packs from completing some of the uh, the Trossard uh, SBC, not SBC, the Milestone, where you've got to score with the Premiership players. So I've been doing a few of those out of the way. Uh, we get Stambouli. Not very good once again. Uh, we've already got him, actually. Uh, could I have a tradable one? Yep, and um, we get a uh, a nice Scotsman to throw into the squad. Another two-player pack then. So we've got a few of these to get out of the way. I'd like to pack something half-decent today. I mean, I can't get too over the top considering... And also, not only that, I also got another pack as well. Indeed, he's not bad. I got another pack as well in the previous um, corrupted footage where we got uh, Gareth Bale in the pack as well, which is pretty nice. I mean, he's worth 30k. We'll probably keep him and use him potentially, but um, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Indeed, he might sell, so we'll get rid of him on the transfer list. Uh, another two-player pack. 
It's a lot of crap so far, to be honest. And this is also not going to be very good as well, isn't it? Yep, standard rare. A little bit of Radu. Don't mind if Radu. Uh, I'm so annoyed that I didn't get the footage for that Dalvish. So, so annoyed. To pack my first ever icon and it'd be one of the packs that I don't manage to get the footage for. I'm so gutted. I really am. Right, so we've got two rare gold packs. We've got a Prime Mix Players pack. We've got a Jumbo Premium Gold pack and a Jumbo Premium Gold pack. So let's go for, let's go for the Prime Mix Players pack first. Um, so 12 cards, 6 rare, um, 4 gold, 4 bronze, 4 silver. It's going to be a standard rare, nothing special. Going to get ourselves a bit of Nanny, which I'm pretty sure we already have multiple times. Uh, yeah, we've got some more players. Any useful ones? Mexican, China. Two Chinese players could have been useful for that SBC, actually. Um, so that's pretty good. And these two are tradable, so let's just get them on the transfer list. They've got a bit of space on them at the moment, so let's do that. Uh, right, premium jumbo gold pack. 24 items, 7 rare. Now, 7 rare could be anything. Contracts, all that sort of stuff. Not necessarily players. It's not a player either. Well, it is a player, but it's not a good player. It's Josh King. Talk of the devil. Uh, we've already got a Josh King, so that's useless for us. Are these tradable? Uh, we're going to put them in the club. They are not tradable. Now, is my Josh King or I've already got tradable? He is, okay. Um, Kappa. Yep, the Myelin. Yep. Klopp. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that because I've already got my Klopp set up. Um, and Talk. Let's get rid of those two. Okay. Splendid. Now we have another Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Come on. We've not even had a board yet today. Give us something nice. This is better. This is better. Okay. It could be... Uh, it's a board. Definitely. It's Swiss. Centre back. From uh, Dortmund. It's going to be a bit of a kanji. 83 rated. We did get ourselves a board this week. That's good. I mean, I'll say I can't really push too much considering how well I've done this week with um, with the Dalglish. We've got 1,000 coins as well. Uh, let's just get rid of these. I don't even bother to sell them, to be honest with you. It's more hassle than it's worth for an extra 100 coins, isn't it, really? Right, first rare pack. 12 items, all rare. So we're guaranteed like four rare players in these ones. It's not a very good one, though. It's going to be a little bit of Bellotti. Could be useful for that um, Politano mission, I suppose. Uh, we've got 3,000 coins in this pack. That's nice. It's very nice. And the final pack for now... Um, is going to be... Oh, it's decent. It's decent. It's another board then. Uh, so we've got Dutch centre mid from Liverpool. It's Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum. 84 rated. I'll take that. I'm happy enough with that. Um, right, we've also got Regani and Mandanda as well. Tiago Mendes. So it's not a bad pack, actually. I'm quite happy with that. I am quite happy with that. So, it's been a decent week so far. What are we also working on? Uh, I've got a draft that I'm midway through as well that I need to do. Um, let's have a look at the current squad building challenges. Is there anything there worth looking at? I mean, Dortmund kit, I'm not that bothered about. A free player pack UCL, I'm not that bothered about. Premium gold players pack is useful. This Karen Benzema is something that I am interested in doing. It's not too expensive either. Uh, we need an 83 rated and an 84 rated team to get an 89 rated striker in the Spanish league. So I'm tempted to go for that, to be honest. I am tempted. I might have to have a look a bit more into it and uh, see how we get on. But either way, I'm going to go away and do some more interesting stuff and I'll come back to you when I'm going to imagine my next thing I'm going to do is probably collect this player, collect this player, and collect this player all at the same time. That's my plan anyway. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Why am I saying that? It's not the end of the video yet. Either way, go on, click the fingers. I'll be back in a second. Right then, here we are. We are back. Um, I've done some stuff. I've done some stuff since the last time I saw you. Uh, I have unlocked um, this Benzema. I'm going to go through these uh, next week, I think, in the next episode. I basically built some strong teams that I've got like down to different leagues and so forth. So I'll go through them next episode, I think. But as you can see, they look pretty damn good. So we've got Benzema, 
Uh, we've also got in... I did this so close. I mean, I don't know why. I've not really bothered all week. I've not played much FIFA at all. And I just realised when I was at work today that it was only a few hours left on this. I completed this Tagliafico with four seconds remaining. I had four seconds left to... Um, to press the button and, and accept the uh, the final. It was, yeah, it took me so long. And luckily, I managed to finish it because I went 4-0 up at halftime against somebody and they quit. If they didn't quit, I wouldn't have done it because the game would have overrun. But because he quit at halftime, I was able to hand the mission and it was great. So there we go. Those are the two big things I've done. Plus, the even bigger one. Uh, oh, yeah, Footmus is out now as well, isn't it? I'm going to try and earn this. An even bigger one. As you can see, we've reached the end of the season. We've got our level 30 reward. Now, I've gone back and forth on this so many times now. Um, I was looking at Chamberlain because it fit our premiership side, but I don't think actually he's that great, to be honest. Then I was looking at Gelson Martins because I thought that pace plus that dribbling is going to be absolutely incredible. But now I think the best option for us is going to be Danilo. There's not that many really good right and left backs, especially right backs. There's a few good left backs in Jordi Alba and so forth. But I think I'm going to go for this 86 rated Danilo. Boom. And then he can then slot straight into our first team, which is going to be great. So we're going to put him into the squad. And then we'll go and do that now. So we're completing the season now. The only things we really do now is stuff that's going to earn us packs and so forth like that. So if we go to squads, I want to go to the main squad. Uh, this is Dutch at the moment. Like I say, I'll go through these probably uh, next video. Uh, let's go main. Um, and we're going to be switching out this one Quadrado. Who is okay, but defensively is not amazing. He's a much better attacking player. It's a bit of a waste, really, me doing that. And then we bring in Danilo. There we go. Straight on to full cam. Uh, you need a new contract. We'll get that sorted as well. So I don't quite know how I'm going to improve this team more now. Um, obviously, there's more icons. I would like to get a better defender. I mean, I possibly could go for... I don't know, actually. Um... Could I actually hmm, think about it? I think I could. So my, my brain's going off on one here. So if I was to put Tiago Silva back in there in place of Godin. And then if I was to send you to the club and go like so. Is that everyone on full cam? It is. Okay, well. That just strengthened the team quite a bit. I mean, I'd like to get the... Uh, a better Allen if I can, like a, well, there's not an inform Allen, is there, but um, maybe the team of the, or the, not the team of the group stage, but the, um, what's the one that upgrades? Road to the final, maybe get that one, um, but I'm also thinking that sooner or later there's going to be another set of icon swaps released, probably next week, um, so I might just leave it and then we'll try and get ourselves another icon in that position, uh, which I think will probably do the same trick anyway. Anyway, that's the team at the moment. I now have a lot of packs to open. I've been doing missions, I've been doing SBCs, I've been doing everything, and now we've got a ton of stuff to open. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything good in packs at the moment, to be honest, but we're going to open them anyway, because as we found out uh, earlier in the video, um, it, you can get icons out of absolutely nothing. So, um, so this is a crappy silver pack. It's useful just to get a few players into the squad, players that we can use for SBCs and that sort of stuff. I mean, is there anything from a useful nation? Um, is that a rate? ARB, that's a new one. It's normally UAE, isn't it? Huh. Portugal, that's coming useful, I think. Netherlands are probably coming useful at some point as well. So we'll put those into the club. I've uh, got a gold pack now. Pretty simple, crappy pack, to be honest, but you never know. Um, it's going to be a, a normal rare. It's a rare, though, that's the main thing. Ito. Okay, nothing great, but uh, again, just get to be in our club. Especially with Footmas coming up now, we're going to have a lot of SBCs and that to try and complete. So, yeah, it's handy just to get these players in there now, just to fill the club back up. We can do some upgrades and all that sort of good stuff. Okay, this is a bit better, is it? Nope, it's just a standard one. Uh, to Mbabu. Of course, we don't really need Mbabu because we've got the... Road to the final one, anyway. Um, we've got a nice little blue lab yard, though. Could come in useful at some point. Uh, Acosta. These players are going to be too difficult to sell. We'll just quick sell them all, I think. Um, we've got a jumbo premium gold pack.
Okay, that's not anything good again. It's a standard rare. As the kitty cats come to say hello. Hello, kitty cat. Hi, roll there. Right. Um. Yes, yeah, so again, nothing amazing there, really. But we're throwing Mkhitaryan on the transfer list. The rest of these just can be quick sold. I'm tempted just to go through and quick sell all my balls and um, and badges and that, because I'm not going to use them. And just, it's just money that just sits there, I suppose. It's, but then it's not really a lot of money at the same time. Is it really worth the effort, I suppose? Again, it's another standard rare. Nothing special. It's a bit of Hammers Milner. He's got a massive mouth, anyway, when you look at him like that. It's got a humongous mouth. Um, Veltman... Yeah, again, some players we can just use to fill the squad up. Might come in useful for SBCs and so forth. And these are untradeable anyway, so we'll have to bid them off. And that's what we've got, a gold players pack. And we've got some good stuff down here, actually. And let's just do it in order. There's no point in messing around, is there? So one rare, 12 golds. It's not going to be amazing again, though, is it? be nice to get at least one board out of all these packs. It's a bit of Izzo. I have noticed that the Footmus has been uh, released today for me. And I have noticed that some of the stuff they want you to do is really expensive. For what I would expect it to be. Compared to some of the other stuff we've had in the past. It is really expensive. Two rare gold pack. Of course both untradeable. It's going to be another standard rare isn't it? Nothing special again. A bit, so we already have a Sabitzer in the club, I'm pretty sure. Well, they're both untradeable. Wow, they're both um, duplicates, even. At least that's tradable. Is the Tunes tradable? Yeah, they're both tradable. Okay. Not ideal. I'm hoping for at least something good out of these packs. I really am. I'm just still gutted that I lost the footage for the blimmin' um, Kenny Dalgleish pack. That's really annoying me, that is. Really annoying, but I didn't get the footage for that. Uh, again, another two duplicates. Zagadu is already untradeable, and Pizarro is untradeable as well. Oh, he's tradable, sorry. It's got 646 coins for that pack. As you can see, I have spent a wedge of coins, and that was to complete the, um, the Benzema SBC. Um... Diego Souza. Again, no use to anybody. I don't think I've got him before, though. That might be a new one. It, uh, no, it's not. I already have him, but I don't have Troy Deeney. Okay, well, we'll keep Troy Deeney then. Throw him in the club. Come on, give us something good. Give us something that we can get excited about in this video. No. Not good. Adderese. Be cool if they put on this game like a little counter so you can see how many times you've packed people. Because I'm sure I've packed Adderese a lot of times. Well, I've already got an untradeable one for a start. So, two rare gold player pack. Okay, this is better. This might be a board, is it? No, okay. There's a bit more of a spark at the beginning, which normally means it's a bit better, but I think I'm just seeing things make myself feel better. Uh, at least they're two players we didn't have. That's handy. Right, so premium Electrum players pack. 12 items, 6 gold, 3 rares. So there's a chance that all of our rares could be silvers. Okay, it's another standard rare. Nothing special. A little bit of collar off. Just handy because I think I've used them in an SBC recently. So getting him back in the club again. Um, Hilton, okay, we've got some interesting ones, some more Dutch, a couple more Germans could come in useful for that SPC, which I haven't finished off yet, Italian as well, I do like these packs to be honest, they're, they're very useful packs to have these uh, ones with the silvers and bronzes in, so 6 gold, 6 rare, 6 silver, okay, this is better, is it a board, Spanish, CM, from Vissel? Is it Iniesta? It is. Wow. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I was expecting something better than that. I think I've already got Iniesta as well. But at least we've got a board. 
Oh, no, I don't have Iniesta, apparently. Look, Font's got another Turkish, Argentinian, German again. A Saudi, which is nice. So we get them in the club, and then we'll quick sell these bad boys. Actually, you... German free, I know, buggy. You can, you can go in the quick sell. So at least we've got a board now. I mean, it wasn't ideal with Iniesta, but it does the trick, I suppose, doesn't it? Okay, this is better as well. This is a blue. It's a blue walkout, I think. Greek centre-back from uh, Napoli. Oh, it's what's his name? Papadopoulos? No, Manolas. Oh, Manolas. 85 rated Manolas. That's not bad at all, actually. That is not bad at all. 82 pace, 86 defending, 81 physical. That's actually a pretty damn solid card, you know. That's a very solid card. Hmm, Forgan Hazard, Dumbia. I uh, got Gibson. It's a Premiership one. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. That's a that's a good card. I like that. I do like that. Right, so there's two boards out of two of these Electrum backs so far. There's my cat knocks them off the table. Useful. And let's go back to the normal rares now. But we've done well with those two cards so far. That Manalas is probably a very good one to have. I got Zinchenko. All right, and these players are all um, tradable, so we'll just bung all them off, I suppose. So another rare Electrum players pack. Just got a cat bow in my face then as well. Small Electrum. Okay, let's go for the small one first. Because there's half the chance of getting something good. Nah, it's a bit too fast for something good, isn't it? There we go, it's a little bit of mic on. Which really designs, or well, really explains FIFA's uh, ownership of this game, doesn't it, really? Mic on. Uh, so let's get them back in the club. Um, so let's go for the. Oh, these are both going to be pretty good. Let's go for this one first. Because that other one is guaranteed six gold rares, this one's only guaranteed four gold rares. It's not going to be a good one either, is it? The spark was too quick, therefore it's just going to be a standard rare. In the shape of Zapata, who looks very happy to be here. And um, we already have him anyway, don't we? But Calvert-Lewin. Bellend. Um, anyone else? Useful. Korea, Korea, Japan. Not the most useful pack in the world, to be honest. Yeah, and then two duplicates of Zapata. And how many times have we packed Ezo in these packs? And our final one out of 18. So far, we've had one decent one in Manalas. Is this going to give us something good? Okay, this is better. Portuguese. CDM. It's Danny Carvalho. Uh, what's his name? William Carvalho, not Danny Carvalho. I'm sure sometimes the uh, the flares change just to confuse you because there's a bit of orange in there as well. Oh, it's not bad. We've got Wilfred Zaha, um, which we'll put on the transfer list, shall we? Or would we keep him for... I mean, what's his price now these days? Well, he still sells for a, for a decent amount. We'll put him on the sales list. Uh, Lucas Torreira. We'll keep him for SBCs. we got uh, Darun. Uh, another Italian UCL card, which is useful. And we've got quite a nice few silvers in there as well. Uh, Carvalho. Let's put all those players on the transfer list. There we go. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not ideal. We could have got a lot better, really. But uh, we'll take it. So let's have a look then at the... the, the literally, this is for me is the first day of Footmer. So I'm going to give my sort of reaction to these. Because that looks like a pretty decent card. And it would be usable if it wasn't for the fact that I got Di Maria. Last week was 89 rated on the left wing. So I'm not going to bother with that for the Spanish league. But to get him, you need to cash in uh, one team of the week or one to watch player and an 84 rated side. Which I don't think is worth it, is it really? I mean, he's not that amazing. I can get the on loan version. What do you have to do for the loan version? The loan version is a 55 rated team with... Oh, that's not bad at all. I can do the loan version then. Maybe I can do the loan version and then do some of the um, some of the missions with Maxel Witzel. 
Again, you need an 84 rated side with one team of the week or foot champions player. Which I don't know if that, well, that, that's probably more worth it than the other one because that's 86 at least. But I don't think it's that great of a card. Um, 81 passing, 84 defending, 83 dribbling, 83 physical. It's a good all-round card, but I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's enough to really be that good. I mean, I'm going to save my stuff up for the better ones, but I could probably do this and get the loan version. Because there are missions out at the moment, but it's whether I really want to do it, I suppose. I mean, because if you look at the... Obviously, we don't need any XP, so we don't need to do these missions anymore. Um, I'm just going to do the ones that give me packs, and this does give you a two-player... Two player rare premium gold prime gold players pack. So it probably is worth play four squad battle matches with at least four footmas players in your starting squad. Play a squad battle with five footmas players in your starting squad. So maybe it's worth doing the lone one because we can get that. And then when we get the people tomorrow, we can possibly do that one. Okay, maybe I could do it just to get the uh, the packs. And obviously this one is actually not too bad. I've done the European Tour one. I did that while I was messing around to try and get the last of the XP. That was pretty easy to do. Uh, score using Ivory Coast players. When I first read that, I thought, bloody hell, how am I going to do that? Then I realised Wilfred Zaha's Ivory Coast. So that's fine. Assist five goals with lobbed through ball pass with P uh, Premier League players and rivals. Easy enough. Score 12 goals using a player with at least 80 physical. Going to have to look at that one a bit more interestingly. And then score eight goals. So that's pretty easy as well. Uh, there's no there's no time frame on this. Like that one, well, don't, doesn't show it, does it? Like, okay. There's no time frame. So I'm assuming all of these finish at the end of the season, which is next week. Um, which is this Friday coming. Uh, so yes, there's no time frame on that. So I need to get a lot done, actually. I need to get the rest of these icon swap on lines done. Uh, I'll get this elite storyline one finished, get that jumbo gold pack, that's easy enough to do as well. Yeah, I reckon I could knock a few more of these out. Um, I'm just going to do the ones for the packs, like I said. I'll get uh, I'll get this guy, I don't think I'm ever really going to use him that much, to be honest, but he's pretty easy to get, and hopefully there'll be another footmas player out next week as well that we can use. And we can uh, finish off, yeah, some of these ones, because yeah, if I can unlock him, then I can unlock this straight away. And then I can get the two lads on loan and do this one. And then tomorrow I can do these ones. That's actually pretty easy, isn't it, when you think about it? Okay, uh, I don't know why. I'm sorry, I've just got off on a complete random conversation here, and I rather than actually doing a video. But, yeah, I'm just sort of thinking to myself out loud, aren't I, really? Um, but there we go. So, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and, of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. I'm going to go away. I'm going to play some FIFA. I'm going to come back, hopefully, with the rest of the Icon Swap tokens. And then I've got the decision that I mean, you guys might need to help me out on, because... If I finish the rest of the Icon Swap tokens, I believe I should have eight. Which means I have the choice between JJ Akotcha, Pep Guardiola, or Peter Schmeichel. Um, so you might have to let me know what you think is going to be the best option. I'm going to show you now uh, the three cards. Ugh, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, well, we can show you the squad. So if I had Peter Schmeichel, he'd fit in more or less any side because he get the chemistry goalkeeper-wise. He's only 86 rated, which is only one less than uh, this guy anyway. So that might come in useful just to get the extra chemistry at the back. Pep Guardiola um, plays CDM, I believe. 86 rated, I believe, as well. Um, I don't think his card looks that great, but apparently a lot of people really like it. And then, obviously, there's JJ Akotcha, who, again, plays right mid. I don't think his card looks that great, but I get a lot of people... Actually, no, a lot of people have been bad-mouthing it, actually. Um, so there you see Peter Schmeichel, 86 rated. Pretty good all-round goalkeeper. And there's JJ Kocha. He just doesn't have a lot of great stats, does he, really? 83 pace. 91 dribbling's good, but 83 pace. It's just not great, is it? And then you've got Pep Guardiola there. 85 rated he is, sorry. His card doesn't look that great to me, but a lot of people do very much like it. So it could be an option. But then my thought is if the next set of Icon Swap tokens come out and they're offering someone like a Patrick Vieira or something like that, or obviously a, uh, what's his name? Hullet. And that might sort of be the player I'm looking at instead of this Pep Guardiola. But I suppose it's someone we can utilise. I'm thinking maybe Schmeichel might be the option to go for, to be honest. But let me know what you think the best option would be for me. Uh, and obviously in the next video, we'll hopefully have all the tokens. And we'll be ready to... Oh, that's a good time. My controller's just died. 
and we'll be ready to uh, to cash it in at the end of the season, get ourselves a fourth icon in our squad, and um, get ready for the next season, season three in FIFA. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you again next week for some more uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. Bye. What a weird ending that was.